Overseer, undertaker, pest destroyer, boiler maker, chimney sweep and steeple jack. Foreman in a copper mine, crockman, pilot, box, my line. With panel members, David Nixon, Isabel Bond, Barbara Kelly, Gilbert Hart, and the chairman, Eamon M. Well, you're very welcome, of course, and it seems like old times once again, and I don't think I'll explain the rules. You'll probably know that they've got chance of guessing people's occupations before ten no's are notched up. All right, so we'll ask our first challenger to sign in, please. Charles E. Hall. You're welcome, Mr. Hall. Where do you come from? North Kensington. North Kensington, all right. And you have a piece of mime ready to help and not confuse the panel. Would you let them have it? Ah, oh. <laughs> all right, we're beginning through to form. And uh, in all cases, we will, of course, show you what the challenger does for a living. If you want to play it the hard way with the panel, just close your eyes. We'll tell you when to open them. Here it comes. Yes, all right, all clear. And we're going to tell you, David Nixon, to begin with, we'll give you the first question yes. that uh, Mr. Hall is wage earning. Thank you very much. And, Mr. Hall, the mine was a great help. I don't know what we'd have done without it. Uh, am I right in thinking, Mr. Hall, that you don't launch Earth satellites? You are right. I'm right. We'd have look, looked at a lot of Charlies if you'd said I do. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> do you work with a wheelbarrow? Were you pushing a wheelbarrow in your mind? Definitely not. You went. All right, that's one gone. Goodbye. Yeah, Isabel Barnes. Uh, good evening, Mr. Hall. Do you work indoors? Yes. Um, it didn't look as though you were being quite so busy in your job, as though it took a lot of manual labor. Is it something that's a service rather than a making something? Yes, yes. Right. And we'd meet you indoors giving this service. Could we use it? Yes. Uh, would we come to you to get it? No. You'd come to us, right? Oh, you'd come uh, to us. It's a, I'd say it's halfway between, but we'll charge a no. It could, in a way, be either way. <laughs> it could. Uh, that's always start starts with me. Good evening, Mr. Hall. I've forgotten all these phrases. So have I. I David said the am I right one. That's and a handy right one. That's right. Yes, and the pencils for chewing. I remember that. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, you can come to us for this service, Mr. Hall. Would you bring something with you if you came? This thing yes. that you're holding in it. Now, this thing that you're, you were, were you holding something in that bit of mine yes. that you were doing? Uh, so on it, let's presume that it was a kind of tray or something, and on it was something that you were showing. Ah, eh? yes. uh, oh, tray. Oh, buddies out there. Tray, anything to do with trays at all? Well, that might be misleading. It might be misleading, fellas. <laughs> nothing to do with trays. Um, no, no, but, I didn't say nothing. You didn't. Ah, but it is obviously something artistic that you do then. No. No, no, three gone. <laughs> well. to, to tie this up, I mean, you give us service, we've established, and um, there is some doubt about whether we come to you or you come to us, but if we were in a certain place, you would do this service for us, is that right? Yes, yes. And the tray is involved, although you say it's misleading. It was a bit misleading. He, I think Mr. Hall is thinking of his mime. Um, and while a tray might sometimes be involved, it wasn't in his mind. His mind was, um, I may say, uh, most unhelpful. He might have been doing anything. <laughs> he might have been a businessman looking to ticker tape. And I'm sure he's not that. Am I right in thinking you are not a businessman looking to ticker tape? You You're it right. Too. Sure. Um, would you do the service for one particular person? Uh, you won't accept that question, I know. Um, Am I right in thinking that you would do the service for many people rather than for one particular person? Yes. Do you um, work in a, a restaurant or a hotel? Yes. <laughs> one thing I do know is that you are not a waiter because that would be too easy. <laughs> um, do you work in the kitchen? No. No, that's foregone. David Nixon. Um, if we were to come to this establishment, then, uh, Mr. Hall, we would see you, would we? Or be aware of you? I Probably. See. Probably. Probably. Uh, depending whether it was your day off or not. <laughs> yes. Well, no, more than that. Uh, more than that. <laughs> I see. <coughs> Are you in charge 
Uh, do you have a position of authority? I'm sure you have, by your um, distinguished mean. That's very kind. Is that the right word? Oh, yes. Isn't it? Word, yeah. He does have, but this is not indicated on the card you've only got. Ah, but I get a yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, and uh, th th then you are concerned with f food in... Uh, but very much with food, are you? No. You know, nope. five gone, visible violence. But in this service you're giving us, you can bring something with you. And it's obviously not food, so what does one get in a hotel that's not come, food come. that's brought to you? Come, I'm not come. thinking of drinks. Why no. not? Um, do you, could you bring um, some kind of message on this tray? Yes. Um, I don't know what they're called. It could be the hall porter or a messenger. Is it the hall porter? You're, I'm no, not I didn't. I said, could it be? That's the third fish we a have. Messenger. One from Gilbert. A messenger. In a way. Yeah, you're still with me. I don't know any more. Um, if you were sort of years younger, I'd say you were one of those gorgeous little boys in buttons, but you can't be. <laughs> A page. A bellboy. Uh, well. I think that is. A bellboy? No. A bellboy? That, that, no. I think what Isabel Barnett said is correct. Don't you think it's fair? Well, incidentally, yes. Isabel, may I take yes. a bell up on yes. that? Yes, no, we've, this, we've this got years them. younger, at Christmas I wear those buttons and, and the little <laughs> thing in pantomime. So never mind that uh, you're younger. Huh? Uh, I think we'll, we'll have to award a knockout on that, Mr. Oldham. Do you agree? So would you tell her exactly what your what occupation is? Head page boy. Uh, head page boy, I yes. Oh, but you aren't a page boy. Yes, he is, and he, he will do page boy duties when his page boys are not there, isn't yeah, that right? Well, I should like to say as to that, I was a bit doubtful myself when uh, the thing was first mooted, but um, I actually heard one of the maids ringing up the housekeeper when I was there and saying that the head page boy was making the same inquiry. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. And what he was holding was not a tray, but what a page boy will hold in this very discreet hotel where he works. Okay. They do not shout out the names, they just go round with the name. So as you know, if you're being paged by eyesight. Thank you, Mr. Hall. I'm sorry you didn't read him. I'm not at all sorry. One nil. The panel will be getting very well, so would our next <laughs> challenger <laughs> sign in, please? <laughs> This has gone quiet, hasn't it? <laughs> hasn't it? Yes. Mrs. Barbara Rowlands, welcome. Where are you from? Colwyn Bay, North Wales. Colwyn Bay, North Wales. And would you do a piece of mine for the panel? Thank you. That's it. Now make yourself comfortable. Fine. Once again, we'll show you at home what our challenger does for a living. I'll tell you when it's off the screen. All right, Isabel Barnett, Mrs. Rowlands is way journey. Hello, Mrs. Rowlands. It looked a, a job in which you used your hands rather skillfully. Yes. Um, it is then a, a skilled manual job. Yes. Is it... Um, are you making something? Yes. Uh, well, let me have a... Look. I'm helping. Oh, you're helping to make something. I don't know. She's still with me. She got there first. Now, wait, wait a minute. In your job, are you making something? Well, in process, helping. Let's have a little, little girl. <laughs> she knows this game better than any of us. <laughs> Yes, all right, all right, yeah. Um, this thing that you, you're helping to make, can it be bought in a shop? No. No, and this might be even a little confusing to our viewers, but the answer is no. Don't mind, she's There's a quite qualification. on that one. Yeah, I do, Mrs. It's yeah. useful, though, eh? Yes, To somebody? Useful. Yeah. Uh, can I use it? Could I use it? I don't think so. No. No? No, that's okay, too gone. You. Again, right. the viewer may be confused because there's one word possibly missing from the card. One word missing on the card. You won't tell us what word it is. No. No. <laughs> um, and anyway, you're very lucky to live in Colwyn Bay. Uh, and you live there. I do. Um, we've already had that your work is skillful. Mm. Uh, does it call for selection? Yes. So you select and you reject. Obviously. I don't reject. Well, well we must but reject. I do. You must reject. Um, um, you have special knowledge. Yes. 
Um, is there anything to do with food? No. No, that's three gone. And mind you, she was quite correct, come to think of it, that she selects without rejecting, which is possible under certain circumstances. Uh, uh? David Nixon. <laughs> I'd like to know how. Um, I, I can't understand this word missing on the card business. Al Alfred Worms are on strike or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's... Uh, he it's, isn't, it's, I saw him around the bank. It's not missing, it just uh, would have cleared up. Something. It would have cleared up a... a what, what particular mystery? Would that help us if we knew? Yes, it would. Uh, is this anything to do with horticulture, your job? Uh, no, no, not at all. That's uh, <laughs> foregone. Um, so you select from things that have been given to you, which have all been passed, you select the right one and use your hands very carefully. Mm, yes. Is it... Um, if we couldn't buy it in a shop, would we know it if we saw it, what you eventually have helped to make? Oh, you may do, you may not, I don't know. Oh. I would, I, we, we just don't know. I no. wouldn't like to take any bets on it. I, if you want, would you like me to answer? Uh, no, because you'll give me a no. <laughs> we'll, we'll try another question, <laughs> shall we? Um, is it, it's, it's useful, is it also decorative? Yes. The, the end product, speaking. would you say it was decorative? To look at. All right, you say it. Is it, you come from Corwin Bay, in which I agree with Gilbert, you're awfully lucky to both work and live there. Is it anything to do with entertainment in Corwin no. Bay? No. No, five gone, Barbara Kelly. We're about nowhere, aren't we? I wish I was in Corwin Bay right now, too. It is something manufactured, though. Yes. And it can't be used by me. No. Now, uh, can it be used by men? Yes. But it has to be men in a certain kind of work. Yes. And is it the kind of work that goes on in Colwyn Bay? Can it be used in Colwyn no. Bay? It can't. Not, it not isn't used in no. Colwyn Bay. No. Six gone. We won't quarrel about select. I take it the thing's already there. I, I get the point. Uh, but the things that you're picking up must be the right size. Is that right? Yes. Um, and we had this help over the end product. You're really helping to make something which calls for uh, skillful picking up. Yeah. Um, are they very small things that you pick up? They are. They are small. Are they what are called ball bearings? No, they're not. No, no, but fair enough. Seven gone. David Nixon. What do you mean fair enough? <laughs> I use them all the time. Um, then, when you did this in your mind, Mrs. Hall, uh, Mrs. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Rowlands, um, did you uh, have one in each hand? I had something in each hand. Oh, thank you very much. That's a yes. Um, uh, <laughs> right. And uh, th th then, it, are you looking for quality? Yes. Uh, I see. And yet you were doubtful about rejecting them. Um, the quality is already assured. It's, yes. not, it's not your job to find that you assume that the quality is there. Then are you looking for size? Are you interested in the size? No, no. You're not? The size is already arranged. Yes. Okay. Oh. This is difficult, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. They're small. They're artistic and useful. Um, if they're artistic and they're small, are they precious? Yes. Like yeah. eggs. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> no longer or pleasure. They have a lion on them now. <laughs> <laughs> and a chicken inside them at the same time. Um, oh, and yet, though, if they're precious, they're not sold in a shop. Um, they're precious. Is it a stone of some kind? Yes. Yeah. Well, not what I do is sold in the shop. No, 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 don't give up. Not what you do is sold in the shop. Oh, I You're think. nearly there. Is You're it a giving... precious stone of it some is. kind? Um, and you are concerned in the making up of something that is later sold? Yes. Ah. Well, now, what do they call? Do you polish the stone? No, I don't. No, nope. I'm gone. One left for you, Barbara. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Would it help us to know what precious stone it was? It might, yes. Well, is it diamond? It is. It's diamond. Ah, am I right? Ooh, uh, a horrible phrase. In saying that the diamonds on which you work are wouldn't be suitable for fingers. That's right. Right. So that it's uh, is it could, could it be the diamonds that are used for cutting other? 
Industrial. Industrial. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing happened. Come on, I give you another 15 seconds. No. You give me 15 seconds. Yes. Well, let us hand it over to Gilbert because he's got lots of uh, water, water, water BBs. No. Clubs and watches, no. No. He's no. beating the pound. Isn't it industrial diamond? Yes, it is. Industrial diamond. But that's not what's on the card. She is a diamond setter. And she sets the diamond in. What is this? It's a coal bit. A drilling coal into bit. the ground. Not sample Drilling the oil wells and all that sort of well, thing. Well, they're not gems. They're, they're diamonds, but they're industrial diamonds. They've not been polished. They're the natural diamonds. Well, we'll polish them ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> how much leave is that them, worth? Leave them behind. Yes. That's all of it. What, how many diamonds That's, are there? Um, 140 in there. And that is worth about what? 50 pounds. You what better do you take call it with that, you. Well, put it back it's in a corbett. A corbett. Would you recognize Harry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm sorry to get that um, And in the mind, I was using a vacuum pencil to pick the diamonds up and putting them into a carbon mould, which makes the crown of that corbett. Would you have recognized it, Isabel? No. That's what I thought. <laughs> I would have given you a no straight away. All right, Barbara, you've beaten the panel. Congratulations. Well done. Good. Fine, that makes the score one all. Let me ask our next challenger to sign in, please. We're level. <coughs> Mrs. Delia Dunn, how are you? Really? Still feeling you? nervous? Yes, sir. Not at all. Now, where do you come from? Hanwell. Hanwell. Would you do a piece of mind for the panel, please, David? Oh, thank you. See, you're always very fast. Do sit down. That's grand. And the free information is, oh, by the way, first of all, coming up on your screens is what Mrs. Delia Dunn does for a living. We'll tell you when it's off. <laughs> all right, all clear. You may open your eyes now. <clears throat> and uh, Mrs. Dunn is wage earning. This time we're starting the questioning with Barbara Kelly. And since it's the first time we started with you, Barbara, may I say what a nice, happy... Uh, Coincidence it is that this is your birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, then. Thank Barbara. you. Me, me, me and the BBC are both 21. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't found out which, which one looks more haggard yet. <laughs> 9.52. I mean, as well. <laughs> Incidentally, Barbara, it gives me a chance of saying it's Monday you start your tour at Durham, isn't it? Yeah. Good luck for that, too. Thank you very much indeed. Hello, Mrs. Dunn. <laughs> uh, Way journey. Um... Work inside, Mrs. Dunn. Yes. Uh, do you help? Oh, wait a minute. There was a dirty laugh, as I remember, on what you did. Oh, uh, get this out of the way fast. Is there anything at all to do with any of, of the other challengers on the program tonight? There's no reference back. No. No? Right. No intentional you. reference back. For all we know, there might be. Gilbert Hardy. Whenever I think of Hanwell, um, I think of hospitals. There's a great big hospital there. Were you giving someone an enema? That's too gone. Uh... Oh, um, well, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I was going to ask you, your, your mind didn't look very energetic, Mrs. Dunn. Um, could you, I, I'm not asking you, do you, but <laughs> could you do it sitting down? Yes. You could? Yes. Do you? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> How very comfortable. <laughs> we do ours sitting down, comfortable. Well, only this part of it, yes. Uh, um, now, you were doing this in your mind. It wasn't very helpful, was it, really? No, not very really. um, Were you touching anything? Yes. I had a feeling that you were. And uh, <laughs> wait, do you give a service? No, I don't give a service. You wouldn't um, think you give a service? service? What about the fellow who employs you? It, um, it's, it's a, could be a, yes, it's it's a, a could sort be. of a service. Yeah, well, I got away with that one, didn't I? But I don't know about this business of not touching anything. I mean, it, we can't all do its magic, you know. I mean, no. Well, it's just as well, isn't it? I'd be out of work. Well, now, uh, uh, is there any kind, uh, Mrs. Dunn, any kind of end product that comes out of the place that you work, in which you work? Yes. There is. And can we buy it in the shops? Yes. And could I buy it? Yes. Would I be likely to? Yes, quite likely. Would it be useful? Yes. Use it in the house? Yes. All over the house? Yes, I should think. In any particular room? Yes. Any room? In any particular room? Yes, yes, okay, yes. I mean, he can't. He's winning on every room in the house already. Yes, all right, then. And if anybody came into the house, would they see it when they walked in? Oh, no. Oh, well, thank you. No, 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 that's oh. three gone. All right, Isabel Barnes. Uh, then we can take it that it's not part of the furnishing of the house. No. Yeah. Right. It sounds as though the house would look jolly funny furnished with this. <laughs> Is it soft in texture? No. No, ah. that's foregone. 
All the wrong questions coming from the wrong people here. Yeah, Barbara, I'm sorry. Oh, I wish we knew what you were talking about. Uh, Mrs. Dunn, is, it, is there anything artistic in this job that you do? No, I don't think so. Five gone. You're quite right and honest. Um, uh, I've forgotten. Don't charge this. Did you tell us whether Mrs. Dunn was wage earning or... Yes, wage. she's wage earning. Wage earning. Well, I shouldn't have gone about nurses. Then, that's that's what I did, it. Too. Sorry. Um, were you... You seem to me to be pecking or something. And it was all over the house. Uh, when you press it, does it go... <laughs> <laughs> That's six gone. I, I'd love to know what Gilbert uses all over the house that goes... <laughs> all right, David Nixon. Gilbert, what did you have in mind? Yeah. Uh, oh, I know, yes. A yes. smell what? dispeller. Yes. Mm. Oh. yes. Um, oh, dear. Is there a... Now, I think that there is a sort of sneaky connection with the previous contestant. Now, now don't give me a no straight away, but there is a sort of connection with the diamond uh, setter, isn't there, that made the audience laugh? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gone. Oh. Is this something that you find in the home used by both men and women? Yeah. What's so funny I about it? I knew what was going on. It's one of the so previous men. contestants. I'm looking at my previous notes. Yes, it was well, one she of the previous contestants. She can't be a page girl. Try trade. Um, no, I don't want to try trade. All right, don't try trade. Anything consumable? Yes. There's something yeah. consumable in it. Yeah. Uh, is it liquid? No. Eight car. Uh, solid. Yeah. Oh, that's clever. Oh, that's clever. Um, can be eaten by men and women, you said. Yes. yes. Can be eaten anywhere in the house. Yes. Oi, oi, oi. Um, mm. Anywhere in the house. So it's small enough to carry around. Does it come in little bits in a bag? No. No? Not in little bits in a bag. I... No. Um, Last... No, yes, one more. I hesitate to introduce a new word so that we don't quarrel. Um, <laughs> is it therapeutic? You've got to say yes, because then we won't quarrel anyway. You know, yeah. it, it, it has a healing quality. Yes. You would stuff aspirin into bottles, into... Yeah. No, that's ten gone. You've beaten the panel. Yeah, Would you please easy. tell them uh, what you do? I'm an indigestion tablet packer. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you might, you, you, you you might quite well have been packing aspirin, mightn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but she wasn't, and she's beaten them. That was fine, Jenny. Thank you very much. Well done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> have one. <laughs> As you know, the rules are different here. They have to guess who the person is, not what the line of job is. And since our celebrities are more than often uh, easily recognizable, we ask the panel to put now on the masks. Now I understand the dirty laugh. Now, at yes. last, you do. Yes, now it all comes back. All right, we all blacked out. Would our celebrity sign in, please? very much and welcome. Now, sit down there. We'll need no tablets now. We're, all we're going to say is that our celebrity is male and we're going to start the questions with Gilbert Harding. Obviously very well known. Um, uh, the first question we ask is, is um, are you, um, do you entertain the public? Yes. Yeah. Oh. David Nixon. I didn't quite get that. Would you do it again? <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, do they see you while you're entertaining them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it a... Uh, ooh, uh, is it show business? No. Uh, I think that's a fair no. Was that a no? Yes. Oh, was it... Is it oh, yeah, is it sport? You've yeah. got... <laughs> He's died, I think. <laughs> He's not looking very well, poor chap. Um, the answer was yes, was it? Yes. Uh, do you play football? No. Oh. Just the tense, perhaps, was wrong there. Right? Um, did you, uh, oh, did you? Uh, David Nixon. Uh, oh, did, did, oh, I see. Um, do you? I uh, would you call yourself an athlete, sir? Yes. You would. 
by the sound of him, he's an optimist. Is it a ball? <laughs> is it a ball sport? Yes. That, that you'll hear about. Good. Uh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, ooh, soccer? Nope. That's three gone. Um, uh, I wonder how much shape the ball is, you see. <laughs> yeah. Ram, uh, is it like that or like that? Which, which do you want? Um, is it a round ball? Yes. Are you Mr. Stanley Matthews? No, you've got two questions there. Well, well, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. Right, I'm, David I'm, well, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm, I'm glad it's a round ball. If it had been a square one, I'd have been foxed. <laughs> It was an oval ball. Oh, an oval one. Yeah. Well, now, <laughs> that's a great help. And does it bounce, this uh, ball? Yes. Oh, it does. Ah, is it cricket? <laughs> what have we had for that? We had a splendid Yes, it's funny, yes. Oh, it is, yes. 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 I don't think we've got the golfers here in time. Uh... Did you play at the Oval this season? No. <laughs> Five gone. In spite of your voice, I know you aren't little Mo. Um, <laughs> um, you didn't play at the Oval this season. In that case, you can't, Mr. Compton. I know you did. Uh, the, the question was... Um, the, 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 the question that was being answered, by the way, was presumably play at the Oval in a test match. I didn't say that. Oh, well, we thought you did, oh, didn't we? Right. I know about. Um, uh, are you a coloured person? No. Six calm. Let's hope we haven't confused you now, because... Uh... Um, sir, I've got an idea. I hate to embarrass you, but after all, they, they had a go at Gilbert. Do you advertise anything? <laughs> Yes. You do. Well then, yes. then it is. It, yes, yes, all right, let's have it. Who is it? Dennis Dennis yes, it's yeah. Dennis Thompson. All right. <laughs> yes, now the, the oval uh, threw us a bit. We, we... I'm sorry about that, but I, I thought you were referring to a test match. Actually, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought, thought so. I thought he was right there. Do you think I could advertise that stuff, uh, Dennis? <laughs> he got it good, actually. <laughs> Take him from the back, keep, keep in the proper channel, <laughs> uh, the, 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 We were talking uh, a couple of hours ago on uh, Sports Report when you were explaining what a Chinaman was. I'm not going to ask you that question again now, Dennis, but um, Gilbert was there. Lots of people missed this uh, wonderful dinner that was given in your honor the other night, and I believe there were lots of wonderful speeches made, including uh, Gilbert's. I can't remember any of that, but apparently you had a, had a bit of a, a, a ribbing from your colleagues there about your... You're uh, running between wickets. Yes, I, I, that's absolutely true. Uh, May I ask you to repeat one thing, though? You, you did give an illustration of this against yourself. Yes, um, well, the illustration I gave was um, um, on my brother's sort of benefit game. And I thought this was the opportune time in which I could express my thanks to him. And, and by that, I meant that I could score 100 for him and it would be an ideal time. Well, I didn't get 100. I got 78 not out. And the reason I got uh, 78 not out was because I ran out of partners. In fact, <laughs> I, I ran five men out, including the beneficiary himself. <laughs> <laughs> and worse than that, Leslie himself uh, didn't take strike at all. He never received a ball. <laughs> <laughs> that, was one, that was the one, really. Uh, wasn't it uh, Gubby Allen who recalled uh, Walter Robbins' uh, remark about yourself and Bill Edridge when you be partnering that uh, a call for one run was never more than establishing a basis for negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, yes. Uh, well, now that you've, you've retired from first-class cricket, uh, Dennis, does it mean that you're finished with the, uh, the leg sweep? Um, well, I'm finished with the leg sweep um, because I've passed over the copyright now to, uh, to Peter May. He, oh. in fact, plays it much better than I do, so I think it's better <laughs> that I leave it alone. But uh, the game itself, I'm going to play a few games next year, Eamon, and, uh, and I'm going to write about it. So I, I will be in close touch. Oh, you're going to keep in close touch. Well, that's something that... Well, there's work. always a village green. That's right, sir. Yeah. Carl Ponce and Peter. Yeah. <laughs> but as soon as a man uh, retires, as you uh, have done in that way, Dennis, uh, 
He's always asked, well, what about present-day cricket? So I must ask you that. Well, there's one thing I'm absolutely certain I'm not going to be, and that is one of the sort of old fogies who says, well, in my day, you know, things were so much better than they used to play much better. In fact, I think now the standard is much higher than I ever knew that it was, you know, before. Well, we miss you in it anyway, and thanks for coming along. Somebody said before we came on, I won't mention any names because there's a well-known actress who's in the theatre here, that, uh, well, of course, the explanation is Dennis Compton's one of the reasons why women watch cricket, so maybe I hope no. women continue right. to watch today. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, we've just about time, and it's going to be really fast going. We uh, have some cards here from people who are in the audience. Uh, we, we collected a whole lot of them. They were reduced to six by the producer, and I'm going to pick one of the six at random, and the person doesn't know which one is picked, and I'm going to ask that person to come up and challenge the panel very rapidly, and that is... Uh, Someone from Kingsley Road, Green Street, Green Farm, Kent. Mr. Ricketts. I think it's Mr. It's Mr. Ricketts there. Good. Would you come right up, Mr. Ricketts? Yeah, very well. This is a, a new innovation in what's my line. We haven't met before. Uh, have you had time to think of a mime? Yes. Oh, yes, give him a I mime there, so. would you? Where you are. That's it. You come and sit down here now, please. Fine. Now, this will be our last challenge. You've got just about two minutes in which to guess. Mr. R. Ricketts? That's right. What does the R stand for? Ronald. Ronald. Well, now, we've quickly... Uh, Alfred Worms has got up a caption there, and we let you see at home what he does for a living. All right, wage earning? Yes. Wage earning, starting with you, David Nixon. Uh, the mime, uh, if you'd had time to rehearse that, it would have been more helpful, I'm sure. Uh, were you uh, using a tool in your hand, Mr. Ricketts? Any kind of tool or implement? Yes. You were. Is there an end product to the job you do? Yes. Uh, can we buy it in a shop? No. No? But so happens you couldn't. I mean, I might have thought you could from what I've got in the card here. Is it useful rather than artistic, the object? I'll have to give you all a quick guess, because time is for... Have a guess oh, each, will you? Um, a woodworker. Very good. Put a word on it. Master carpenter. No. You were trimming something, tidying something up. No. We use ads. No. No. Put a word on it. A woodworker. A woodworker. Wood I can't get any. A joiner. No. 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 Polisher, French polisher. No. I uh, judge him to have beaten the panel. Would a you joiner. tell him what it is? Chippy. He's a, a chippy. 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 Oh, oh, I'm sorry it's so brief, but that's always time for stay here and I'll give you a certificate, Mr. Ricketts. It was a brief but pleasant meeting. Thank we you. will, of course, be with you uh, next Saturday again at 9 o'clock. It's our thanks to challengers, to Mr. Ricketts for coming up from the audience, to our celebrity, Dennis Compton. It's good night from David Nixon, Isabel Barnett, Barbara Kelly, Gilbert Harding. We see you next Saturday at 9. So till then, goodbye.